You might not want to live in Idaho after watching this video. More people than not would love to live in Idaho these days. It's a very popular state, and it's been that way for a long time now. Hell, it's so popular, we got a bunch of wingnuts that live on the eastern half of Oregon that are trying to split the beaver state down the middle so they could join Idaho. This, of course, will never happen, or at least not in our lifetime. And before you do, stop typing. Yes, Idaho State Legislature just passed a thing where they have the authorization to talk about this plan. But that was sort of done with a smirk and a wink. As in, even they know it's a joke. But that just shows you how popular Idaho is. You got people that don't just want to move there, they actually want to pick up and bring their land with them. But the thing is, like all states, Idaho's not for everyone. 43% of the United States said they would never move to the gem state. And that's fine. We're all different. Like I said in past videos, most people love hot weather, others don't. Some people see life in a small town as slow death, while others dream about it. We're all different. Today's video, we will show you the 10 reasons why 43% percent of the people in the United States would never move to Idaho. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10. Things are changing. With popularity comes a lot of change. That's just how things are. Normally when a place gets popular, city, state, town, whatever, prices go up. Cost of living goes up, housing prices go up, everything that can go up goes up with a place's popularity. That being said, Idaho, in most cases, is cheaper than a lot of the other states. But for how much longer? Groceries are currently 6% lower than the national average in Idaho. Obviously, it's going to change a little bit when you get into the cities and things like that, but on average, 6% lower than the national average. In 2018, they were 11% lower than the national average. In 2013, they were 13% below the national average. Healthcare expenses usually run near the national average in Idaho. Transportation back in 2018 was about 21% below the national average. That means, you know, everything from maintenance, fuel, car insurance, whatever. Right now, it's 12.5% below the national average. When you look at housing, again, it's hard to get the median price for an entire state because it varies so much between the smaller towns and the cities, but Idaho over the last 10 years has normally been just a little above the national average. Now, a lot of things are changing in real estate across the country, but definitely the housing boom in Idaho's various markets have slowed, so they're kind of still staying above the national average just a little bit. Now, if you know anything about real estate, everything I said just now could change in a matter of a week, so. Number nine, the lowest minimum wage. Idaho is one of 20 states that maintains the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. Most states have their own minimum wage, but the $7.25 an hour is set up by the federal government to say, you can make it as low as you want, just not below this line. That minimum wage hasn't changed in 10 years. Tipped employees in Idaho only make $3.35 an hour. So if you go to a bar or a restaurant in Idaho, make sure you leave a decent tip. Obviously, everyone's not making minimum wage, but there's enough that are that it's kind of a problem. Idaho has jobs. They have a decent economy, but one of the biggest problems is most of the jobs they have aren't paying that well. And when people aren't getting paid well, a lot of other things start getting worse. Most of the time, it's poverty. Idaho's case, it's getting a little bit higher, but it's still well below the national average. One percentage point, two percentage points below an average on poverty is pretty good. Idaho has a 11.6 for their poverty rate right now, where the US here in the first quarter 2023, it's 12.8. Number eight, the inconvenience. Now, when people were asked why they didn't want to live in Idaho anymore or why they wouldn't move to Idaho, inconvenience came up a lot. And that has to do with shopping, entertainment, healthcare, things like that. Just everything seems to be a little bit further away in Idaho when you compare it to cities and suburbs and other states. Now, this one really isn't that big of a deal and it's something you get used to, but it is something that came up a lot. Other people complain that certain chain restaurants and stores weren't in Idaho. Now, I've seen this one before. I've seen complaints about it. I was actually listening to a radio station in Idaho one time and a few people called in and complained about the lack of different stores that they liked. That really wouldn't bother me, but it bothers a lot of people. Number seven, less educated. This one's weird because there's different ways you could look at it. What's the graduation rate? What are test score rates? What percentage of the kids went on to college? Things like that. But whatever it is, whatever the study, they're usually towards the bottom. 
I don't think it's terrible. They got some good universities and they have some great school districts, but they do show up in a lot of surveys towards the bottom. Matter of fact, U.S. News ranks them 29th in the nation. For higher education, they're ranked 30th in the nation. And when you look at K through 12, they're ranked 23. 23 is not bad. That's a little above the middle. Then you see things like just over 33% of Idahoans over the age of 25 have post-secondary degrees. That same stat in Oregon is 39. Washington, it's 42. California, it's also 42. And I know you're all dying to know, Mississippi only 25%. Number six, cold weather. Yes, if you don't feel like shoveling snow, stay away from Idaho. The winters in Idaho are pretty harsh, especially if you get up into the mountain regions, obviously. They do get some temperatures that are below zero sometimes, so be aware of that. And this is something I've heard from a few people, including a friend that now lives in Idaho. They get a lot of fog. And in the winter months, you already got pretty bad roads, and then you get the fog on top of it. It could get pretty dangerous. You also run into problems like certain mountain roads are closed during heavy snow snow and sometimes it could take them a while to clear it. If you're coming from a city or if you're coming from California, that's totally foreign to you. If you're from Colorado, you're going, yeah, and? But a lot of people said cold winters is what keeps them away from Idaho. Number five, they're not the friendliest. Yes, Idaho is not considered one of the most friendly states. I did a survey about a year and a half ago and did a video of the 10 rudest states. Idaho was ranked 12th. They almost made the top 10. But if you're thinking about moving to Idaho, don't expect to be welcomed with open arms. There's a definite desire here to be left alone when it comes to their personal business. The gem state has one of the lowest population density rates in the country. And normally when this happens, they sort of embrace one of those keep to themselves type attitudes. I don't want to say they're a bunch of loners that like to be left alone like preppers, which they do have plenty of preppers out there in Idaho. They just, it's kind of their lifestyle. Now, obviously, if you get into some of the bigger cities and some of these really nice suburbs they have, that's going to be a little bit different. But definitely the small towns, it's a mind your own business type of thing. Now, everything I just said is sort of directed towards outsiders. They're friendly to each other. Just when they don't know you, it's almost like they don't want to get to know you. Number four, it's growing too fast. A lot of people brought up the fact that Idaho has been growing too fast and too many people have been heading there over the last few decades. Some people have the attitude like, I don't know, like you're talking about fashion. Oh, Idaho is so 2010. Well, maybe to some people, but it's still very popular for a lot of other people. And I think the people in Idaho would be more than happy if everyone felt that Idaho was just over and nobody was moving there anymore. They're tired of outsiders. Now, some of the biggest problems you have when a place is growing too fast is like we talked about earlier, the cost of living, housing prices go up. And after that, you start having infrastructure problems. Infrastructure is not just roads, bridges, and tunnels. Schools, hospitals, as you have an influx of people, you got to build the things to service those people. Schools and hospitals don't just get built in a month. When you constantly have tons of new people moving in, it just takes a lot of time and resources to get things up and running. Now, some of the other infrastructure types, they have like energy infrastructure. They're doing really good there. They're ranked like sixth in the nation, according to U.S. News. But Idaho is ranked 28th in the nation when it comes to internet infrastructure. Now, that one's becoming less of a thing now that they have you know, Starlink and a few other services where you don't need to be connected to the cable company or whatever. And plus, now that their new construction slowed down, that might be kind of fixing itself. Number three, it's boring. Yes, a lot of people said it's really boring. Now, normally when I think of a boring state, I'm going to think of Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. Idaho doesn't seem like a boring type place, but I like to be outdoors and I like to get into the woods. So to me, it's not boring. But to someone that's coming from someplace like Los Angeles, let's say New York City, San Diego, Dallas, you might move to Idaho and just be all, this place sucks because you're used to that nightlife. Now, they do have a nightlife in Boise and some of the other metro areas they have, but it's nothing compared to... Los Angeles, San Diego, maybe New York City, Atlanta, or Miami type nightlife. And what's strange is that's where a lot of the people moving to Idaho are coming from. Miami, in recent years, has become one of the biggest exporters to Idaho. Obviously, it doesn't rank up there with Los Angeles, San Francisco, basically all of California, but it's moving up the line. But it's moving up the rankings. I mean, it is kind of boring. They don't even have any good violent crimes going on here. A lot of times when I travel different areas, before I go, I like to Google, like, things to do in this town. And something always comes Comes up. There's a few different places in Idaho that I've looked at that there was nothing to do in. It just gave me that, oops, something went wrong sign. I'll say something went wrong. I tried to find some exciting nightlife in Idaho. 
Number two, lack of public transportation. If you don't have a car or motorcycle, you probably want to stay clear of Idaho. Public transportation is pretty much non-existent in this state, unless you're like in Boise or one of the other larger cities. And even the public transportation they have in places like Boise, their reach out to the suburbs is seriously lacking. This is a car dependent state, so you better have a car. If not, you're gonna start losing friends when you call them for rides all the time. There's places in Idaho that don't even have Uber. So if you're one of those people that don't like to own a car, you know, you like to take public transit, you might want to skip Idaho. A lot of people in the survey mentioned this one. Obviously, it's number two. All right, before we get to number one, if you want to help this channel out, they suggest videos at the end of this one, which is one of ours. If you click on that, it really helps the channel, and then I could afford to build McMuffin a new home. All right, on to number one. And number one, they don't want you. Now, this one we kind of touched on when we were talking about how they're kind of unfriendly to outsiders. But the reality is I could have done this whole video on just this one itself. We've also mentioned this one on past videos about Idaho. They don't want you. They don't want any more newcomers. They especially don't want you if you're coming from California. If you are coming from California, keep that to yourself. If you tell them you fell from a Chinese spy balloon, they'll be happier to see you than if you told them you came from California. People have been pouring into Idaho for a good 20 years now. And the locals are just at the end of their rope with the whole thing. Now, it's slowed down a little bit, I'd say, the last three or four years, but it looks like it's picking up steam again. Most of the newcomers leave Washington and California to become residents of Idaho. According to the 2023 American Community Survey one-year estimate, says that right around 17,000 people left California forever and arrived in Idaho looking for a fresh start. Now, 17,000 really doesn't sound like much. I mean, this is a state with almost 2 million residents. But when you think about it, that's 17,000 people from one single state. Sure, it is the state that's given the lion's share of them, but that's every year. It might fluctuate a thousand here or there, but for the most part, it's been over 10,000 a year for quite a while. That adds up. One thing leads to another and the entire state of Idaho is driving Teslas. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.